Looks like we've arrived. This is the way to the medical facility, right? You'll see. Let's keep going. So there really is an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. In fact, it never even existed in the first place. Uh, but I've seen people carried in here with my own eyes. Where could they have all gone? The answer is right in front of you. You need but open your eyes. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that they all drowned in this lake? No. They are just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. What? <laughs> no way. So then, this entire lake is... Yes, all this is the hollowing. I still don't follow, Nagal. What happened to your hand? And what is this hollowing you speak of? This is what I wanted to show you, my lord. When a life form's drained of its astral energy, its physical form breaks down completely, a death leaving no physical remains. All that's left is a reflective substance, the only proof that matter once existed at all. That hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This whole lake... How many people? How many Danans? <laughs> you actually expect me to believe all that? That an astral arts illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity? And that I, a Renan Lord, would have no knowledge? I have... One last piece of evidence, Lord Doalim. This is a fruit of Helgen. The cause of all of this. What are you doing, Miguel? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Here is your proof, my lord. Proof of the bounds of your knowledge. Proof of the countless dead and deaths under your watch. No, they were not merely deaths. Those Danans were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. <laughs> Miguel! Someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, for the future of the utopia you have created, please stop them. Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisara. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. I didn't have much time left anyway. Please. Help our Lord Dohalim to make our greatest dream a reality. Look out for the 
charge attack. Nothing gets through me. Yes, I swear.
All right? What was that just now? I understand this is a lot for you to take in, but Nigal trusted you. Impossible. I have no such power. <sighs> Truth be told, I never wanted this. I never wanted to be a lord. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me, and in the process, I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took and the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well, then that was just an added benefit. Or perhaps I... I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But living up to them was never my aim. Impossible. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for? You're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? <laughs> Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dahalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you in your dream! Forgive me. So this... This is who you really are? Stop! Let go! Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, Kisara! Let go! Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... Are you trying to ignore your brother's dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! Just kill me. I'm nothing. I am but a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? Change my mind! <laughs> 